So, um, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to uh, this interview here. Um, no problem. So, tell us a bit about. Um, uh, tell us a bit about actually. Uh, we'll start with sort of anime sales in general for folks who aren't familiar with it. What is it you're selling? There? What I'm selling is literally each of these is literally a piece of the show that you know you saw on TV. Uh, the cells are all hand painted in the studio by the artists, and they take pictures of them and then. Uh, they spin them in with a reel, and that's how you get animation. So each of these uh, came uh, one way or another directly from the studios. And in case of the, there's the way also a uh, hand drawn artwork, and that was normally in, in the age of cells, it was what, what happened before the cell. Nowadays, they do the sketches and then they move to the computer. So, um, and that's an interesting point because um, you know one of the issues with cell collecting is just the the sheer um, you know what you can get from um, a particular series as they shift it over to computers. Um, yeah. How much um, um, do you get um, uh, the drawings from recent series um, uh, uh, as well? I mean, how um, how many of those uh, uh, background drawings do they actually uh, provide or original ones? Background drawings actually they still do a lot of background, uh, original painting uh, backgrounds for the new shows because it just tends to be faster and cheaper to do it that way than on a computer. Um, as for new shows, I still do get new shows in. Uh, you tend to have to wait till about a year to year and a half after a show has, after a particular episode has, has ended before you can get it because studios hold on to the sketches for a while just in case they need to rescan something or revisit something. That makes sense. Um, what was the turnaround time before that on sales? It was, probably, it was a pretty similar uh, turnaround time. Um, it might have been a little longer and sometimes because they weren't as, quite as flexible when they were using cells as opposed to using computers. Gotcha. Now, I've heard some about cell auctions and things. How do you actually get the cells from the studios? Well, there's various ways. Um, some studios let their uh, workers take stuff home. Some studios <laughs> will sell everything in bulk. Um, some studios will... Uh, Kind of put stuff in the storage unit and forget about it. <laughs> Some studios uh, burn their stuff. Wow. Um, the studios in general have an attitude of it's kind of an uh, industrial byproduct. It's not really what they're making. They're not making the cells, they're making the animation. So they don't, they're not really in the business of selling cells. So they often don't really care too much about you know, it. So they, they, they try to take the easy, way, easy path. Makes sense. Um, can you walk us through a little bit about sort of grading cells, what is considered a high quality cell versus a less interesting one for collectors? Well, collectors tend to want to have uh, face shots. They like to have a big uh, face, you know, well centered and expressive, eyes open. Um, but different collectors collect different things. Some collectors like, uh, you know, scene shots, action shots. Um, they like to collect things that are important based on, you know, what they represent in the storyline, rather than just, you know, what looks like the prettiest shot. So it does depend a bit on character. Some people uh, collect character, more character collectors, some uh, collectors are more scene collectors. Gotcha. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, about price, um, because one of the actually remarkable things about this is, is that I've, I've seen prices get higher and higher, and, and the prices here aren't nearly as bad as I've seen them in lots of places. Um, so, what's sort of the price range folks can expect to, to pay for sales? Well, it really depends on the series. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd say that the typical range uh, for the cells I'm selling is 10 to 50 bucks, okay. um, and then some will go a lot higher than that. Sure. Some will go, you know, several hundred. Uh, I mean, the most expensive cell that's known of went for a, around a million dollars. Wow. Um, what was that from? That was uh, from one of the earliest Mickey Mouse oh, yeah. shows. It was a it was a big orchestral scene. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Um, Obviously, I'm sure like Studio Ghibli cells are going to go for higher than your yeah. average thing. They've actually increased a lot in value in the last really? decade. They've really started to approach, and some some cases surpass Disney prices, which tend to be like the what you judge other series prices by. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, one of the one of the fun things about this too is sort of uh, the variety of style. Um, uh, when folks are looking for an anime cell, um, um, are they looking for something that is how to put this? Um, what normally do you find people collecting for? I know you, you said uh, various things, but are a lot of people going for character? Are a lot of people going for scene? Or is it just a, a mix? Uh, a mix up? Yeah, mostly character, um, and they also they want to collect also from the series that they really love. Um, most people tend to go for the characters that they really like, and they feel that they're owning a piece. Of, they are literally owning a piece of the show. That's what 
really, when I started off collecting, that's really what kind of urged me on to buy more and more. Yeah. What do you collect? Uh, I collect uh, from three main shows, uh, Hunter x Hunter, um, uh, which was first made in 99, and then they did a, a reboot in 2011. Right. Yeah. Uh, Berserk, uh, which is a little bit of an older, well, not really old show, but it was in the 90s. And then my favorite uh, one is actually an American uh, show, uh, Land Before Time. Oh, That's nice. what I collect yeah. from the most. Okay, cool, nice, sweet. Um, now, um, Obviously, you got here pretty much all um, the anime sales. Um, we also sell Disney. What do you see beyond like Disney and anime? Do you see many stuff from you know, Korea, Russia, things like that, or do they, do they, do they enter the market much? No, you don't really see a lot of shows from uh, other than uh, the U.S. and Japan. Um, you occasionally see some things. Uh, I mean, Smurfs originally was was a I think it was a Dutch show. And you get a couple of shows from Europe, I and mean, generally it's uh, uh, U.S. Or, or Japan. Although. Uh, they're often they have studios that animate them in Korea and Vietnam, though. <laughs> That's so, true. yeah, I mean, in a sense, some of them are Korean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had to explain that to some fans at times. Now, you mentioned uh, backgrounds. Um, one of the interesting things about backgrounds is that you're getting sort of the entire scene, uh, if you will. Yeah. Um, so, what are kind of some of the differences in terms of pricing and what you're getting for the background? Well, if you get a, a background that matches yourself, it tends to increase the price a lot because there's only I mean, there can be one to many cells per scene, uh, but there's only one background for the scene. Yeah. So people tend to, you value highly the background. We have a lot of spare backgrounds mm -hmm. that are not matched with any particular cell. Uh, oftentimes, you have these studios and they produce a lot of backgrounds for all these shows. A lot of them never get to the US. And if they ever get separated from their cells, well, it's almost yeah. impossible yeah. to match it up because most of them don't actually uh, write on the background what show it's from because it's not in their mind that they even have to do that. Sure. That's interesting. Cool. Um, what are some of the most interesting cells you've come across? One that kind of stick out in your mind as being unusual or remarkable? Mm, unusual. Uh, what are some of the unusual cells? Well, some of the more interesting ones are, uh, we'll say, uh, our cells normally painted on the back. They have the lines in the paint on the back. And some of the more fun ones are where they put like special effects on the front. Cool. They, they don't, didn't used to do that with computers, so they have to like, you know, airbrush and do all these fun things with special effects on the front of the cell. That's kind of interesting. So. Cool. Nice. Nice. Um, have you gotten, or um, uh, what have you seen of some of the, the, the large, oversized cells? Like, how big can those get? Uh, they can get pretty big. I have a, a Land Before Time cell. It's about four feet wide. Oh. I've seen uh, in some of the movie productions, uh, I saw this guy who had uh, a lot of uh, uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven yeah. backgrounds, and some of those, you, you actually they roll them up in, in, like, in, in, in squirrels, and he had some they said were around 30 feet long. Wow. Which is pretty long. <laughs> you can't really display crazy. that kind of no. stuff, not easily anyway. That is really interesting. Cool. Is there anything else you guys want to uh, uh, tell our viewers? Um, so at first, I was first a, a collector rather than, than a dealer, and I still yeah. think I'm mostly a collector at heart. Yeah. And I think it's just a fun uh, thing to get into, uh, to own a piece of the show that you love. Uh, and so I I'd recommend it for people trying out. I mean, there's ways for it to be affordable, and there's ways yeah. if you get a little into it to you know, put a little more money into it to get some really nice pieces, but I think it's 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 a hobby that I think a lot of people can approach and get into. Absolutely. What got you into dealing? Uh, I just started buying more and more, <laughs> and once you start getting once you start getting heavily into collecting, sometimes you end up buying like, huge chunks, huge lots, just because they have one or two pieces you want, and then you get rid of the others. And then I made contacts with people uh, who were interested in selling stuff in the U.S. and it just kind of led from there. Gotcha. Cool, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Take care.